My name is Mark Dragem. I'm a lieutenant with the Denver Police Department uh, Traffic Operations Bureau. Tonight, we are doing a DUI checkpoint. It's part of our enforcement campaign for the July 4th holiday weekend. We realize that over an uh, extended holiday period like this, there's an extra chance for people to party, and tonight's one of, part of our enforcement campaign to catch impaired drivers, and we do the one night um, DUI checkpoint to try and take care of that. Of course, the people that don't um, get tested for DUI are very appreciative of the efforts that we're making. But the ones that don't, I think in the long term, even though they're arrested, they appreciate the fact that we stopped them from maybe killing somebody or hurting somebody. The personnel it takes to run a checkpoint is massive. Um, setting up is, is quite labor intensive, so we'll, it's, it's just part of our total overall effort. We'll do this tonight. The other three nights of the four-day holiday weekend will saturate certain areas of town where there's propensity for DUI accidents. We'd like to think they're very effective. I think in, in today's age with technology, we're able to pinpoint some of the areas where we can do DUI enforcement, and that's where we concentrate our efforts. I'm Corporal John Blay, Denver Police Department, Traffic Operations. And well, the goal is to educate the public that we're out here doing our job, trying to save lives, get people off the street that are drunk driving. Checkpoint is very quick uh, contact and release. If we smell any odor of alcohol, then we ask them out of the car. We ask them to do some voluntary roadsides. 99% of the people are receptive to this contact. If they're going out, don't drink and drive. Have a plan. Make that plan before you leave the house and go downtown partying. We're out here and we will stop you and arrest you if you're DUI. If we stop one person that's DUI, it's worth it. If we save one life, it's worth it.